maybe like talk about this schools banning books from libraries what's that all about um well there are certain library topics and things that they don't mm. want to have available for the kids to read yeah um so fabulous stop uh, the learning stop it in before it breeds so <laughs> now there are tough topics mm -hmm. i guess that they you know want to kind of shy away from mm -hmm. um, I, I mean you've got like let's see the handmaid's tale um someone said that it is used to spread radical and racist ideologies to students and i'm just like <sighs> There's a TV show that exists. Like, it, what are we talking about? It seems about? like denying people yes. the ability to learn is radical and probably racist. <laughs> <laughs> just denying education just seems that racist. No one is saying <laughs> that we want to make a book about, like, I don't want to say that word. About, okay. About, about like, like racism. Uh, about racism or, like, yeah. extreme violence available right. to, like, a fourth grader. Sure. But, I mean, if we're talking, honestly, middle school, high school, I mean... Yeah, at that point, you start reading about broader subjects and learning more about the world around you. Mm -hmm. And uh, not to say that, you know, if you hear about it and you don't like it, you shouldn't be forced to read something. But, mm -hmm. like, if you hear about it and you're interested and you want to learn more about it, read about it until that point where you don't feel good learning about it and then you don't have to learn about it anymore you know like or learn about it because you might not understand it and then learn as much as you can about it so you don't misunderstand what's going on and you don't have to ever get into those situations because you'll avoid those situations you know like so I, I just i just don't want us to be so concerned about what the kids are taking in that we've kind of limited their ability mm -hmm. to learn grow critical think for themselves kind of expand on I, like there's just like let's not baby proof things so crazy that it's mm -hmm. just yeah ridiculous now yeah so that's my thing like the, i i got the baby proofing <laughs> must stop we're not all children all t or not all toddlers. Uh, I mean, I no I personally wouldn't don't want to see like a book in the library like pro Nazi. Yeah. <laughs> like no, yeah, but yeah. like you know, like there's literature that's definitively fiction, mm -hmm. but it also has a message. But it's like like you know what I mean? Like it's yeah. not this isn't being presented to them as news in actual real life history. Mm -hmm. But then there's also like nonfiction books that are still important. Like I remember reading um. Uh, in high school, I read. Now, this wasn't this wasn't required reading or anything, but I read um, the Man King, which I'm gonna have to leave out that word because that's a trigger word on the platform. Mm -hmm. um, and that was talking about how um, I believe it was. And don't don't kill me, guys. It's been forever, but I believe it was a either like a Chinese village where all the men had gone. Mm. Um, I think they were like at war or something. And it was just women and old children and um, women and old people and children behind. And then the Japanese soldiers came in and just did things. And wow. that was a lot. That was something very heavy to read in high school, but it really kind of made me realize, mm -hmm. you know, things outside of myself even more so. You know, and, and, it, and it, I, I remember thinking like, oh my gosh, like, I didn't realize that there was such conflict between these two groups mm -hmm. that in my, in my mind at that time, they're so similar, you know, like, the, you know, we have our main big groups and we have division within the groups. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was a lot. But if I didn't have access to that book, mm -hmm. Like, you wouldn't have learned about that perspective. I wouldn't have learned about that perspective, no. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I'm not for this. For yeah, it's taking <laughs> away knowledge. I mean, no, because like, even like how you're saying like you don't want certain things and then libraries and stuff like that. Maybe, yes, there should be an age requirement, requirement mm -hmm. for some types of knowledge. Because mm -hmm. children, I think, should still get to be children. Yes. Up until... You know, 
they want to kind of grow up there themselves, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> They're going to start to get bills soon, so, like, they'll figure it out soon enough. Like <laughs> I don't know. A lot of 30-year-old um, kids living with their parents right yes. now. <laughs> yes. I totally understand. I can relate with, the, with the, being an older child. Yeah. With I mean, parents, part of that is the economy. Parents. Let me not be mean. <laughs> the economy's a little weird, you know. Yeah. Kids. You know, these days, houses, half a million dollars. Parents, they were able to buy a house for, you know, a couple of apples and a handshake. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of apples and a handshake. And a handshake and a wink. The bank. Didn't even need contracts. Didn't even need a contract. Like, need a contract. We, we have an wink, agreement. Handshake, a couple of apples, a little bit of, uh, you know. little. Uh, I don't know what else they did. I was just, I was on a roll. I needed, I felt like I needed a third thing. Got to have, got to be Johnny on the spot with that third thing. Mm-hmm. All right. And they had fist bumps. They had apples, handshakes, and fist bumps. And they got houses. Boom. And then, Done. And then we don't have any houses because no one wants to give us apples, handshakes, or fist bumps. No. And uh, they just want to give us the finger. <laughs> 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 that one just needed one. Just <laughs> that list was just one. One. <laughs> the one one. Yeah. Let's. Oof. Let's, mm, real so estate. yeah. Let's keep the books in the libraries. Yes. Let's create age requirements. Mm-hmm. The knowledge is going to get out. Yes. But you can do our. We can do our best to only give it to, you know, people that are adults, and adults are able to make rational thought and. Uh, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. Sane, sober. You say age. Yeah. <laughs> what age are you saying? Like, I think 15, 16 is a good age to start reading about, you know, more yeah. adult topics and stuff Ooh, like that. Ooh, actually, mm-hmm. yes. And I read a book about this guy who was studying serial killers. Mm-hmm. He was a he like I mean, he was a teenager mm-hmm. who had gotten like obsessed with serial killers, but yeah. not like because he wanted to be one. He yeah. wanted to find out like what makes them tick. Yeah, and he yeah, literally yeah. managed to get a meeting with um, the clown dude, mm-hmm. Gacy. And I don't know who that is. Uh, that is a serial killer. Who, uh, oh, John Wayne Gacy, yes. who wore the clown makeup yes. to try and. I yeah. only remember his last name. Okay. And he had gotten a meeting with him, mm-hmm. and he, like now this is the, this is a strong like football player type of guy. He mm-hmm. was describing the book, and he says that like in that moment, like he felt this shift in the room. He just felt like he was a little kid out of nowhere. Yeah, like and he just felt like enamored, like like a, like he I don't know, like it was just this shift that happened, yeah. and he realized that he was alone mm-hmm. in the room mm-hmm. with Gacy. Wow. Yeah, and because he had, because he had pretended to be like, he had written letters to him pretending to be like, oh, I'm interested in this mm-hmm. and blah blah. blah have these mm-hmm. weird feelings and thoughts and mm-hmm. you know, Gacy was like, you know, was talking manipulative things and he was just trying to like, like, at one point, he realized that he wasn't just fishing mm-hmm. and trying to like get in Gacy's good graces to kind of get information from him he now he realized that like the tables had turned and he just he felt like he in that moment was could have been a victim yeah Yeah. in jail by the way he was in a jail room wow the guard had left him alone yeah jesus christ yes and i read this book (laughs) in high school and i'm sorry guys i don't remember the name of the book i apologize i was a big reader like i love reading Mm -hmm. but as i got older Family, life, adulthood, kids, mm-hmm. it, it's so hard. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah. Word. If I find that by the time I edit this, I'll put it somewhere. Put a little. Put a little. Yeah. Yeah. Shwada bap bap. 